tell us now, jihad, hmm. I mentioned it, and they translate it, which obviously is a mistranslation, it's not your holy war. Talk to us about this word jihad. Well, jihad, jihad does not mean holy war whatsoever. Uh, and jihad, I don't even know what it means, a very, very flagrant way of trying to say it. Jihad, like the cowboys from the yeah, West now. I know. Um, jihad needs to be understood in its context as well. Um, jihad is an Arabic word uh, that means to strive or to struggle to do something. Uh, and that can be many things. If they build a building, let's say in Arabic, they would say they did juhud. You know, they did jihad to put this building up. It was a struggle. It was, a, uh, it was hard. But if we want to go to the definition of jihad itself, wherever we find jihad in the Quran or any derivative of the word jihad, whenever we find jihad in the statements of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, it is understood as a physical struggle and as an internal struggle to seek the pleasure of God, to make God's oneness known on the earth, and also to eradicate injustice, to eradicate oppression, to eradicate tyranny, and to eradicate terrorism on the globe. This is jihad. Jihad is an attempt and a struggle to establish peace on the earth, justice for all human beings, um, so that no one has to fear for their life, so no one has to fear for their safety, so that everyone is taken care of financially, economically, socially, so that everyone's rights are afforded to them under the system of law that was given to them by God. Jihad is an attempt to do that. Uh, so for someone to say that jihad is to kill innocent people, it's very contradictory to the teaching itself. The teaching itself would say, no, that there, if, if there is someone who seeks to kill innocent people, jihad would mandate that I stop them, that I stop them. If, if someone was tyrannizing other people, jihad mandates that I try to stop them, even if it be my own self, even if it be my brother in Islam or my blood brother or my father or my mother. It, it necessi necessitates that I try to establish justice, freedom, and free people from oppression and tyranny. Now also, obviously, look, does Islam give you the right to defend yourself, to do jihad against the person who tries to commit injustice towards you? Let's say he tries to rob you, come in your house, stick you up, try to rape your wife, you know, you jihad against this person to get him out, to protect your loved ones. Is this a Absolutely. form of Absolutely, that's logical. That logical. Is, that is logical, that, that self-preservation is in-tuned into our psyche. It is in, in, embedded into our psyche to preserve myself uh, and to preserve that which I love in my family and my property. So a Muslim is, is not allowed, you know, in the religion he is told or she is told to defend oneself. That's my honor. This is my person, my family, my property, my land, whatever I own. It is my right to make sure that it is safe. And if I have to defend someone, defend myself against someone trying to take that or put that in danger, then I have afforded every right to do so. And this is logical. This yeah. is very much rational ideology. So is it also struggling and striving to be noble, to be righteous against those evil inclinations, let's say those evil things inside the desires sometimes, to tame these desires so you're not at the nightclubs on the weekend, you're not using profanity, you're not hooking up with that lady outside of marriage, and you're not being promiscuous, showing all the cleavage and being mm. naked out there, prostituting yourself, you know, looking for all that negative attention, and you're doing jihad to be modest, to be noble, to be righteous, to speak good words, to be good to your family, to your parents not to be disrespectful to them. That is jihad, is it or is it not? Absolutely, to try to be a Muslim, which we spoke about uh, in a previous episode, which a Muslim is someone who tries to do Islam, that is a jihad. Struggling every day to please the Creator, to make myself a better human being, to, to forward myself uh, as, a, as a better person in society, as a more educated person, as, 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 as trying to obey my parents. Um, those are all considered jihad as well. A, a, a mother trying to take care of her children is considered jihad. A woman who gives birth is considered, that's considered jihad. To speak the truth is considered jihad. There are so many things which when we put them in the, con uh, in the proper context of what is jihad, then it becomes very clear that what the media represents as jihad is very much not jihad. Be before we go to break, did Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, who we love, no Muslim is a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus, did he do jihad? Did Moses do jihad? Did they teach and preach jihad? Absolutely. They all struggled to make sure that the truth go forward. And Jesus himself suffered greatly because of trying to put forward the truth. And this is considered a jihad. To try to put forward the truth so that humanity can know a right way to worship and live in front of God is jihad. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with more here on The Dean Show. Sit tight.